In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and program this RCA Platinum Pro 3 device remote control. I'm going to show you how to put some devices in there and a couple of different ways to program it. I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So just a quick note about the batteries. Make sure your batteries are pretty fresh. Weak batteries can cause programming problems. Okay, so there are three ways to program this remote. The direct code entry, auto code search for top brands, and auto code search for all brands. I'm going to cover all three in this video. So let's get started with the direct entry method. Um, I wanted to make a quick note. Uh, this remote doesn't have any support for any external audio devices like a sound bar or an amplifier. I even tried to use some codes from a different RCA remote for my Bose soundbar, but had no luck. So if you need external audio support, then this remote probably isn't going to work for you. Okay, so jumping into the uh, direct code method. Now you'll want to start with your device turned on. Find the code in the list, okay, that it came with for your device. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also include timestamps for the video so you can jump right to the sections that you need. So today I'm working with a Sharp TV and my code is 31713. You're going to want to press and hold the device key that you want to program to until the power light stays on. So for my Sharp TV, I'll press and hold TV. I know it's a little hard to see on the camera, but the power light should stay on after about two seconds. Now enter the first five digit code from the list. In my case, it's three, one, seven, one, three. Remember I gave it to you earlier. So the LED should go out if you did it properly. Now, if it stays on, you've probably done something wrong or the code was an invalid code. You're going to want to test your code to make sure all the functions work as you expect. Power, volume, input, etc. If some functions work but not others, try another code. And if you've exhausted all the codes, then you're going to want to try the auto code, auto code search method coming up shortly. Now you can use this very same method for all of your other devices. Just sub out the device button for the appropriate button. Stream, Blu-ray, whatever. You can also control your Amazon Fire Stick with this remote. There is no code for a Fire Stick. If your TV is working and your TV supports HDMI CEC, then you'll need to go through your TV's menu to make sure that that is enabled. I've had this question come up several times on my other videos. What's the code for Fire Stick? I did a video on that a while back. Here's the link above. Okay, moving on to auto code search for top brands. Now this method is a great alternative if you've lost your codes or your codes just aren't working. So I'm not going to go through all the top brands in the list here, but if you have a mainstream brand, chances are it's on the list. This is also a faster way than the all brands method, which I'll cover here just shortly. As usual, you're going to want to start with your device turned on. Press and hold your device key until the red light stays on. Usually it takes about two seconds. I know it's probably not showing up on the camera and enter the five digit device code for what you're working with. Now all these codes have five digits in them. If I miss one, it's going to be 11111 for TVs, 22222 for VCRs, 33333 for streaming players, 44444 for satellite receiver, cable boxes, or digital TV converters, 555555 for DVD or Blu-ray players, and 88888 for projectors. The power key should flash after the fourth, first four digits and turn off after the fifth. Okay, so one, 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 one. Okay, power light went out. Now press and hold the device key that you've programmed to that you entered the code for. So I did the TV, one, 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 one. So I'll press TV. So you're gonna to wanna to point the remote directly at the device 
in my case the TV, and keep it pointed there for this next step. Press power. Okay, the remote should start sending the on-off command every two seconds for the different brands. Now when your device turns off, press the stop key to store the code. Let's make sure it's flashing. It is flashing. It's sending out codes. So as you're holding this towards the TV, once your TV responds, press stop to store the codes. Now if you've passed your code, press the play key to go backwards through the last few codes and when your device turns back on again, press the stop button to store the code. Now as before, you'll want to check your code functionality. If the code only partially works, do this procedure again, but this time stop on the second code that your TV or device responds to since you already know that the code isn't working very good. Okay, now if your device isn't a main brand, you can also try the auto code search for all brands. Same as always, you'll start with your device turned on and press and hold the device key that you're working with. Okay, so I'll do a TV again. Okay, now enter the same five digit codes I mentioned earlier for your appropriate device. I'll enter one, 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 one for my TV. Now as before, the power light should go out and it did. Press and hold the device key you're working with. All right, so TV again. Till the power light stays on. Now, same as before, point the remote at your device and keep it pointed there the entire time it's sending out codes. This time, you're going to press play to start sending out the codes instead of the power button for the mainstream brand. So press play. Now, this may take a while if your device is at the end of the database, so be patient. All right, it should be flashing. It is flashing. Okay, so every time it flashes, it's sending out a code, so you have to keep that pointed at your device the whole time. Now, once your device responds, the same thing you did before, press stop to store the code. Now, as before, you'll want to test the functionality, and if it doesn't work as expected, you'll have to do this again, but this time stop on the second code that your device responds to, since you already know the first one isn't working. Now, if the code didn't work, I think you can skip the step of entering the 1111 or 2222 and all that. I think you can go straight to pressing your TV button down and going from that point. Okay, that's about it. I just wanted to mention a convenient feature. The volume should stay locked to your TV, even if you're in streaming mode or DVD mode, so you shouldn't have to switch back and forth to control the volume. Okay, any questions, comment below, and thanks for watching.